things my ex-boyfriends did and I still stayed with them. Threw his bike through my mom's living room window and smashed the whole thing. Threw my phone on a busy street, like a main road, and I had to run out and try not to get hit by a car. Also smashed and completely broke two of my phones. Cheated on me over a hundred times and one of them being on my birthday um, would accuse me of cheating on him with his brother if I went upstairs and used the restroom. Even if I was only gone for 30 seconds, I was cheating. Would wake me up at all hours of the night if my location moved an inch. Would blow up my phone and my mom's phone at 3 o'clock in the morning if my location said I wasn't exactly in my house, if I was like a little bit outside of my house. Poured a whole can of, I think it was iced tea, on my head while we were at the thrift store. Hooked up with my friend. Um, he was supposed to just be going to a party. He would purposely get in a fight with me before I had to go home so that he would make me walk home to my house at 12.30 in the morning. And it took me about 30 minutes to walk home. And I almost got kidnapped multiple different times while walking home alone. I was, again, 16. You could definitely say I left that relationship with a whole bunch of mental illnesses like now i was a little kid i was literally 16 years old but ladies know your worth don't be stupid like i was if he treats you like leave they don't change trust me trust me you're not stupid genuinely man woman whoever's whoever the victim is i don't like the word victim because it's not a nice label to name yourself but if you if you are a victim it's generally never ever your fault and it's like it's it's nothing you do um what's the word oh, i forgot what the word is nothing you do makes makes them choose to hit you like it's their issue they need to get seen they get they need to get arrested they need to get genuinely with severe therapy done to their brain you, ugh, i just can't i can't even get my words out because i'm just in so much shock it's never your fault. Literally, it is never your fault. That's just horrific. 16 years old. No 16 year old should be with a boyfriend like that. 